don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandon you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it. Mater went after you. What do you mean, after me? She went down the mountain to find you. She had to find you. And what did she find there? She brought you to a priest to be healed, but he told her you died. I wasn't her only child. Not everything was lost. No, all was lost. Everything we ever knew. What do you know? You know nothing of what I had to do. Listen, after you and the Elder fell, they threw me off Mount Aigertos too. Pater, let me go. It was his duty. You were abandoned too. Yes. But we both survived. Against their wishes. We did. We're alive. Maybe it serves them right. Themos, we've been searching for you. And you are here... in the gutter. I heard shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action today, girl. I am not your puppet! And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. <laughs> Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Alexius. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleo. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You help me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your sister now. A pity. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening.
Blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief, his equipment for Navas. Come, Varnavas. Alexios, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses. You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <sighs> The tragedy is between the two 
It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you. I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. You could just get another actor. Oh, no. Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there is something at the Acropolis that will help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Finally, someone who's willing to have some fun. I'm not sure how many more times I can take Socrates rejecting me. I'm sure you'll get through it. Perhaps you can help take my mind off it. I could always use a bit more fun. I knew it. Let the walls sing with the echoes of our passion as all tension melts from our bodies. I could use some relaxing. Say no more. Even in times of war, a little bit of fun goes a long way.
I should be extra careful in this area. <laughs> This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. This shovel looks recently used. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. Looks like someone dug here. So to get the key, I need to find the Commander Phylos. Gratis was right. This is exactly what we needed. Είμαι 
εκατομμύρια δηλαδή πιστικών, τότε δίνεται αν και κάνει. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is! Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right! So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. I guess I learned something. It must be from all the time I've spent around you. Debate may not always be as quick as a blade, but it can have just as big an effect. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall.
Moro. Sin el fe. Sin el fe. There will be trouble if I'm spotted here. Come on. This must be Thespis' house. Come on. Come on. You've got to be here. The commander will be furious if I don't fight. By Hades. You don't look like an actor. Unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Axenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Do something worthwhile and join my crew. You're loyal and you follow orders. You take me? What do you say? To get away from Athens? Thank you. Thank you. But my cup's drained and I'm to perform tomorrow. Another drink! Come, one more tale! The night is young! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So, he's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Axenor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. If you don't want to leave with your head stuffed up your asses, you'll go now. We'll be seeing you, Mistios. The commander's not a man to be messed with. I's not feeling too good. He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Whee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I, them, I became spoke. 
told him Cleon will kill us all. It's more assaults than satire. The sausage seller was my idea. Then I will, I will gather my, uh, what was it again? Oh yes, sausages. Mmm, sausages. Let me... Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who are they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this? I'll mess that pretty face right up! No need for jealousy. Just because your mother was a goat. Like mother, like kid. You need to die! Got to be careful not to get spotted. Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis. An artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No. Thespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform. But he'll be doing it without me this time. But... you're his muse? 
Commander Rexenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with his stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you. Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Exenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Drexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? What is it with you? There is more at stake here than a few moments of pleasure. Only a few? You don't rate yourself highly in love, then. This play could help decide the fate of Athens. I need you to keep your word and go to Thespis. Do not worry. I will see you at the play with Thespis. Let's hope no one notices me here. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think 
I was going to propose a statue to all be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! Gee! He treats us like old daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! I received word that Hermipos is dead. Very interesting. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So, what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. I should watch my step around here. Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic! Thespis! Are you acting in another play? Ali... Allo... Alexios! Aristophanes' friend! And my friend, too! 
I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought, this could be a huge success. I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti, and my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas? You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine. Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Where are you keeping the wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered... Hey, I should put that in the script. The Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine, we could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Where are the two places the wine is being stored? Most of it is in the stable of Ares. But the good stuff? That's in the Miurgi Fort. I'll take care of everything. There it is. The good wine should be in that fort, if the officers haven't drunk it all already. That must be the good wine Thespis mentioned. Oh, but it smells awful. I should try it. Ugh. 
This tastes like horse piece. I can't serve this. There must be something better nearby. This wine must be good. I should get back to Thespis. Watch will be vigilant here. I found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's excellent. I'll try selling tickets in the better part of town. Our wealthy patrons won't be disappointed. So, when will I be able to see this play? 
Well, there is a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors. None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and the Enikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dispontian ruins were inspiring him. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the Spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. This is terrible. I'm really going to need a Leonidas to get out of this mess. Are you playing the Anikis for Thespis? I was, but now I can't. I lost all I had gambling with the commander. Now he says I'm his slave until I pay off the debt. I'll be working for him for years. All right. Let's settle this debt. Oh, thank you. The commander is right over there. <laughs> you want to play another game? So glad you brought company. No, I... well... I need my friend back. He's due to act in a play. I think it's time you let him leave. What's the play? Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. This man plays the Enikis, Leonidas' lieutenant. Ah, a good military play. We need more of those on the stage. Of course, it would be best if they cast real soldiers instead of Nambi Pambi actors. I'm not! Oh, never mind. So here is how it is, Mistios. This Malakas owes me a debt that he's paying off with service. Do you intend to take his place? Let's make a deal. My services as a Mistios against his debt. Works for me. My soldiers used to be stationed at the stable of Evgeas. We've relocated since then, but left behind a good luck charm by mistake. Bring it back, and we'll call this even. Is that all? I'll be back before you know it.
I should return this to the commander. See? I found that good luck charm you mentioned, and the wolves you didn't. Which I'm sure were no problem for a mystios like you. Now, give me back my sword. You never said this was a sword. The best kind of luck is a fine blade. Hand it over. Here you go. I take it we're even. Yes. This will cover his debt. Now both of you get out of my sight. We should leave. Follow me. Do you think that commander will really leave me alone? Maybe he won't. But if you're playing the Anikis, you must be ready to defend yourself. A Spartan doesn't cower at home just because he has enemies. But I'm only a Spartan in a play. Do you want to convince your audience or not? The Anikis had to live with the fear of being killed every day. Why should it be different for you? I see. Knowing that Commander could show up at my home any day with a dozen men and set spears at my throat... ...that fear will inform my character. Thank you! You're welcome. Now get back to Thespis for rehearsals. Thank them yet. Let's get out of here. Thank you. 
I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakas keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains at play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wrong with her, so she poisoned the shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the witch escape. Who knows what she'll do next? That horrible witch won't hurt anyone ever again. Oh, thank you. That delusional hag turned her followers against me. But now that she's dead, I should be fine. Right? You'll be fine. You should go on and play your part knowing Xerxes is safe. You're right. Xerxes was sure of himself. A god amongst men. I should be as confident as him. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, your majesty. Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidoni? It's not much of a mystery if you tell everybody about it. Hidoni is the goddess of bliss, and since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tross. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. 
I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful. You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. This is the waterfall. Now to pick a good spot and jump. Dave must be around here somewhere. Ah, that must be the cave with the treasure inside. for jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidoni. Hidoni, go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. Are you Tross? I'm looking for an actor named Tross. What? I had nearly reached the third level of Hidoni's godly bliss when you interrupted me. Now I have to start all over again! You get on with that. It's probably best you stay away from acting. <laughs> Pierre, are you Tross, the actor? Um, I... Uh, no. No, I'm not him. Good. Otherwise, Thespis is terrible at choosing actors. Hello. I'm looking for Tross, the actor. Well, none of us use our old names here, but acting, I know about that. 
Make the audience laugh when they want to laugh, and cry when they want to cry. And how would you make an audience laugh? Uh, well, I'd probably slip and fall on a piece of goat's blood. Uh, works every time. I see. And to make them cry? I tell them about how much I miss my poor dead goat. And if that didn't work, I cut an onion at the same time. All theatre trick, you know. Thanks for your time. I'll speak with the rest of the hedonists. We should use that name. We might get more people joining with a snappy name like that. Hello. I'm looking for the actor, Tros. Is that you? Oh, an actor. I'd love to be an actor. But my friends told me I need to practice my stage presence first. That's wise advice. Good luck with that. Hello. Are you Tros, the actor? You must be new. There are no actors here. Our only role is to be hidden in. ...to inhabit her grace and tranquility. You sound like you know something about the theater. I wouldn't say I know much about it. I might have studied a little Aristophanes, a little Evripedes. Medea was robbed, you know. If you aren't the actor, Tros, you're certainly good enough to be him. Come act in Thespis' play. I'd like to help you, Hidoni. But I need to stay here. Work on my enlightenment, all right? Picture it. You, up on a stage, showing hundreds of people how wonderful the message of Hidoni is. I'm offering you that chance. You just have to take it. That is magnificent. A chance to spread the joy of Hidoni to so many people. I'll do it. Good. Now go report to Thespis at Pelops Market in Elise. And get on with your rehearsals, Hidoni. I mean, the Fialtis. Alexios, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated. So, what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers. Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I can barely stand, let alone act. It's a shame you have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not canceling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? Me? I'm no actor. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. Excellent. So, let's do a quick run-through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield! Or under it! On! On it! The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. 
I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine! I'm pretty sure Leonidas said, drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. I'll go rehearse with my fellow actors first. So good to see you. I'm sure you'll make a great Leonidas, seeing as you took care of that commander so thoroughly. It was nothing. So in our scene, I'll ask you to advise the troops. Then you answer, come back with your shield or under it. I'm sure every Spartan general says on it. That's what Thespis wrote. Hitoni, good to see you. There's a lot of people out there, aren't there? I sure hope the good word of the goddess can carry me through. I'm sure it will. So, I'm Ephialtis the traitor. I'll say I'm so clever for betraying you and the Spartans. Then you say today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Why would Thespis write that? Leonidas was a king himself. He wanted the whole world to remember what he did. It's a work of art. Don't take the details too seriously. You're back. Good. Your word stuck with me, Mistios. The public will fear and admire my Xerxes. I'm glad I could inspire you. As King Xerxes, I'll insult you and the Spartans, the usual. So you reply, the Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we all drench the gods with wine. I know Thespis loves his wine, but Leonidas said he drenched the gods with blood. He's the director. I'm sure you can make his lines work. <laughs> Do you need to rehearse more, or are you ready to be Leonidas? I'm ready. Let's start the play. Welcome to our play! The heroic tale of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. Behold, your Leonidas. Thank you for being here. Remember that Leonidas was not only a king of Sparta, but the savior of all Greeks. I am the Anikis, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. I will serve him until Hades himself comes to claim him. My commander, my king, we are outnumbered and outmaneuvered. What can I do to help? What does the Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man? Come back with your shield, or on it! I am Xerxes, king of the Persians! Your puny god means nothing to me! Kneel before my immortal self! You Spartan cur! I will grind you and your people under my sandal! How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! <laughs> All right. 
I'm a Fialtis, exile and traitor. You know I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret goat path to the Persians. Those stuck-up Spartans won't stand a chance. I've defeated your plans, Leonidas. What are you going to do about that? The traitor dares talk back to his king! What will Leonidas say to that? Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. <laughs> Great job, my friend. Enjoy the crowd's reaction, because I don't think Thespis will be happy you went off script. I think I can take care of him. I can't believe it! You ruined my perfect script! Didn't you hear the crowd? They wanted to hear the real story of Leonidas. I should know. He was my grandfather. <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the take. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought.
What can I show you? Thanks for looking. Brasidas. Alexios, good to see you. Alive. Pilos didn't go as planned. At least they didn't get my battle arm. I'm glad you're all right. I was happy to get your message. I'm happy it got to you in time. Tell me what happened after the battle. They found me wounded. I was taken back to Sparta and given time to heal. My leg won't be the same, but they didn't kill me. No Spartan got off easy. I was captured and brought to Athens. Athens? That rubs salt into the wound. Proof there's still work to be done. There always is. So Cleon's here? He's close, somewhere outside the city walls. He intends to take Amphipolis. For once, he plans to fight with his men. He was disgraced in Athens. He needs to win back their respect. A chance at retribution? Can't let that happen, can we? Cleon's here. We need to move. Easy. First, we need to find him. We're outnumbered, and our spies say he's already sent for Athenian reinforcements. All the more reason to act. You've proven yourself. It's a risk, but I trust you. We're going to stop Cleon. I give you my word. Good. Let's move quickly. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up.
Athenian camp is ahead! Destroy it all! In Athens, you can't talk your way out of this. Why won't you just leave me alone? Alexios, come now. So mercy. You turned her against us. My own sister. We lifted Themos up. We made her great, unstoppable. You made her a monster. Then fight by her side. Teacher, you would have Themos once again. Her name is Cassandra. 
I beg you, this world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You don't deserve a quick death. But you'll learn what you need at the gates of Hades. No. No, Neil. You don't understand. Uh, no one will forget me. Cleon of Athens. I will be remembered. You're already forgotten. That's it then. Meini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Brasidas. I should have gotten to the most sooner. I'm sorry, my friend. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? 
Cleon fired an arrow into Demos's back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyatos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. Stay safe, Alexios. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. of the world, a mother calls out to her child, touching. Cassandra, please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult! I tried to save you! I did everything! The priest told me you were dead! And they told me you abandoned your daughter! Cassandra! Come to me! We are your family! We can go home! Family? Home? <laughs> My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. The cult controls your destiny, but you don't need them. Together, we can destroy them and bring peace back to this world. Peace? And what under Ilios would you do with yourself if there was peace? Milk the goats? <laughs> Look at you! Oh, mighty Mistios! You profit from this war as much as I do. You don't want peace. You just don't want to deal with me. What I want, what I've always wanted, is my family.
When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you. Sandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again.
Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with! Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything.
Phoebe. She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Alexios, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. He had to keep to himself. He was always being pursued by something or someone. By protecting himself, he was protecting Athens from ruin. Aspasia may have been the only one who truly knew him. This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I helped him all I could. He was my friend. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Alexios killed the monger as an act of espionage. That's exciting. Write a scene like that. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To moving forward, we'll leave the past behind. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Miss Dios. Thanks for stopping by. What? 
When did this happen? Earlier today. I was taking my boy fishing when we heard the screams. What were they doing out there? A hunting party, I think. We must send aid at once. Thank the gods you're here. A hunting party has been attacked outside the city, near the cursed land of Oedipus. Any survivors? This man saw dead bodies, but he could still hear screaming. There are many dangerous beasts out in the wild. If someone is injured, they won't last long. I need you to go and rescue whoever is still alive, and put an end to the dangerous beast that attacked them. All right, I'll destroy the beast and see if anyone's still in one piece. If they are, bring them back to me, and I'll do what I can to save them. There are a lot of hunting grounds nearby. Where should I look? They were sighted following animal tracks around Snakehead Rock. Do you know what attacked them? Not for certain. The roar could have been from any number of beasts. Many predators call the wilds of Biotia their home. How many people will I find out there? It sounded like only one hunter was left alive, but hunting parties usually contain three or four people. I'll go and find the trail. <laughs> Are you trying to block me? Deviants. Cowards that surrender to Xerxes. what's left of the hunting party. I need to get him back to Hippocrates before he bleeds out all over me. Ναι, ο νεστή το φυγεί. 
How's the patient? He'll survive if I treat his injuries. If? This man is a monster. He's a slave trader who treats people so terribly that they injure themselves just to avoid working for him. <sighs> if I help him, he'll continue to hurt others. But if I choose to do nothing, many will be spared pain and suffering. It shouldn't matter what this man has done. He deserves to be treated like anyone else. We can't judge others when they're at our mercy. I know it's my duty to help this man, but if you'd seen some of the injuries I've treated that he's caused, you would understand my doubts. The innocents of the Greek world have suffered enough lately. What if I free his slaves? If he has no slaves, he can't mistreat them anymore. And you'll be able to treat him without guilt. Yes. I can save this man. And you can prevent him from hurting others. Our kindness here will show him the error of his ways, show him a different path to walk. You would do this for me? Of course I'll free the slaves for you. Thank you, my friend. Where are these slaves being held? I remember paying a visit to a camp on the riverbank east of Lake Cobais to treat a slave for self-inflicted injuries. I'd try there. Are hunting parties often attacked this close to the city? It's quite unusual. But with the war raging all around us, and the plague consuming everything else, it's no surprise the beasts are becoming more desperate. If the slaves are in danger, I will need to hurry. I see him. I need to talk to her. I see him.
thank you for freeing us. That beast Galeos has worked us all to the brink of death. Now I can return home to my family. I freed the slaves. I've treated his injuries enough to stabilize him, but he isn't out of danger yet. I don't know if I can bring myself to complete the treatment. I've freed his slaves and his business is finished. Perhaps our kindness will show him there is another path. If I do nothing, I'll be no better than him. I'll make sure he recovers. When he does, be sure to tell him how his life was in our hands. Only the gods have the power to decide life and death. What I do is insignificant compared to their benevolence. I've seen you save many from a trip down the Styx. But look at the plague. For all my knowledge and experience, I could do nothing against it. I have to accept that my reach only goes so far. Thank you for your help, my friend. I must go. I have an appointment with a patient elsewhere. There may still be hope if I can learn more about what ails you. It's no longer about me. I'm worried for my son. A boy still needs his father around. Besides, Dikios is a smart boy. He'll be fine. Not if my rivals have their way. Hippocrates, you know it's unwise to upset a patient. He asks me to end his life when he knows I can't. Messius, please help me. I'm in such terrible pain. 
You cannot simply ask someone to kill you in my presence. I'm your physician. I will not allow it. I can ease your pain, analyze your symptoms, and try to cure you. But that's all. Pain is just part of being mortal. It reminds us that we're alive and keeps us sharp. I have known many pains in my life. My own suffering is what I worry about right now, but making sure my family's future is secured. Secured how? My family is one of the richest in Thebes, and we have many rivals. When I die, my son will become the head of our house. Ah, uh, uh, he's just a boy. Ah. Uh. Uh, I need to ensure they can't take advantage of my death. I'll deal with your rivals and give your son a fighting chance. Thank you, Mistyus. If you steal their assets, it will weaken their position and prevent them from posing a threat to my family. That will buy my son time. What do I need to steal? To really weaken them? Steal their debt registry? the mortgage testimonials and their collection of fine jewels. Where do I need to go? Their estate is nearby. It's one of the most finely decorated homes in all of Thebes. Except for mine, of course. Stealing isn't normally what I'm paid for, but I'll get it done. If doing this helps bring him some semblance of peace, I will pray for Tiki to watch over you. That should be everything worth taking. I've done what you asked. Your family's position will be secure for quite some time. You have given me hope that my name will live on long after I'm gone. All I can ask the gods for now is that my son lives a longer and happier life than I. I'm in your debt. You don't owe me a thing, really. Now, it pains me to ask, but I need your help with one more thing. I know what you want to ask. This disease will claim me, be it today or another in the future. It's a matter of when, 
Not a Hippocrates won't just let me kill you. No, but he listened to you. If you can convince him it's what's best for me, he might change his mind. I don't want to slowly waste away. I want to die in peace while my family remembers me in a good light. Hippocrates is stubborn, but for good reason. He believes in helping people, not hurting them. I don't think I'll convince him otherwise. I know he means well, but he must know I'm beyond saving. Still, I understand your choice. Now, I think I need to rest. If you have a moment, I would ask you to help me with something. He seems to be resting peacefully now. Yes, you help ease his mind, but he'll never truly be at peace until he takes his last breath. When will that be? It's hard to tell. Judging by his symptoms, it'll be sooner rather than later. I can lessen his pain, but to do so, i will need some hemlock. I'll collect the ingredients you need. Thank you. It won't stop the pain entirely, but I hope it'll help him feel more comfortable. He doesn't want to feel better. He wants to die with some dignity. True dignity would be fighting through this, so I can analyze his symptoms further. I can't imagine how difficult this must be. But I know you're doing what you can to help him. Sometimes I worry that it's never enough. First the plague, and now this. The ailments that afflict men are as varied as the gods. It would take me many lifetimes to learn about them all. Hemlock is rare. Where do you harvest it? It grows all across Viotia, but check near the Tumulus of Platea. I'm sure I saw some when I was last there. Why are you treating him with poison? Hemlock is deadly. Only in the wrong dosage. If my observations are correct, it should lessen the pain racking his body. I'll get the Hemlock you need. That's what I'm looking for. That looks like hemlock. I got the hemlock you wanted. Thank you. I know this task was a little beneath you, but it will help my friend here. 
I've prepared the elixir base, but I need you to grind the herb and add it to the mixture. I think I can handle that. Be mindful of the amount you add. While the hemlock is an excellent pain inhibitor, too much can be lethal. Just as the doctor ordered. He seems to be calmer now. The potion is working. With what I learn here, I, I could help many more who still have a chance at life. Why don't you come with me? My crew and I need a good physician. Besides, the best way to see the world is by sea. Yes, that does sound like a good opportunity. I'm bound to come into contact with all sorts of unusual ailments if I follow you.